Kerry, while we're on the topic of promotion, why did you decide to promote something that Alex Jones said? That was a few weeks ago. I do not stand with Alex Jones' position, narrative, court case that he had with Sandy Hook, or any of the kids that felt like they had to relive trauma, or parents that had to relive trauma, or to be dismissive to all the lives that were lost during that uh, tragic event. My, my post was a post from Alex Jones that he did in the early 90s or late 90s about secret societies in America of occults, and it's true. <laughs> I didn't realize that I could be considered anti-Semitic until I read one of the definitions of anti-Semitism. Look at this. The definition says, making mendacious, dehumanizing, demonizing, or stereotypical allegations about Jews as such, or the power of Jews as a collective, such as, especially, but not exclusively, this sounds like a, I'm let me go back. All right, so it says, think about it, that sounds like the type wording that's in the contract, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, it says, such as, especially, but not exclusively, the myth about a world Jewish conspiracy or of Jews controlling the media, economy, government, or other societal institutions. Isn't that what you said? That Jews run everything? Yeah, but that actually is considered to be anti-Semitic. Right. So I didn't realize that it was anti-Semitic to say, hey, you know, I have a Jewish attorney, I have a Jewish record label, I have a Jewish contractor, I have a Do you regret your statements? Or your statements you think you should be walking back? I mean, considering... What do you mean walking back? Well, you know, backing up off of them. I mean, the thing is, you've, you've lost a lot of endorsements. People are dropping you, you're getting, you know, vilified. You know, I mean, you might think you're right, but I think, you know, there's a lot, there's a whole world out there that's condemning people for what you said. Okay, so this right here is a chart of uh, Universal Studios, 20th, 20th Century Fox, ABC News, CBS, CBS News, Columbia Pictures, mm -hmm. uh, Warner Brothers, ESPN Sports, Fox News, Washington Post, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, MTV Music Television, Nickelodeon, USA Today, Wall Street Journal, Comedy Central, NBC Entertainment, um, uh, Google, uh, what else do we have? Disney, ABC Kids and Family, YouTube, Los Angeles Times, Discovery Network, Paramount Pictures, Facebook, Huffington Post, Yahoo, Marvel, Hulu, Cosmopolitan, Time, um, Touchstone, Associated Press, uh, Pixar, Miramax, HBO, New York Post, Lucas Arts, MSNBC, uh, DreamWorks Animation. Now, the thing is, I skipped over maybe about five of them because it was just unclear on this list. The red are the executives that are Jewish at these companies. Do you think they're subject? So as you see with a little digging, it's not hard to find out certain things. All right. For you people, the masses who are who don't know anything about any of this stuff. Listen. All right. It's, you think it's a coincidence that the Jews are holding this much power, that the Jews are in control of so much. Do you think it's a coincidence? They're in control of your media, your social media, your food, your entertainment, uh, everything you can possibly think of. They're in control of it. Now, here's you, here's you, Joe Schmo, who don't know this stuff. What you don't know, Joe Schmo, is collusion is a big thing. And what is that? That means groups of people getting together behind closed doors and making making secret deals and secret packs to accomplish secret goals. Okay? This is happening on a worldwide level. You saw it with the COVID uh pandemic. All right. I just posted. If you didn't see it, go look at the previous post. Pfizer admits they never, they never uh, tested to see if their quote unquote vaccine will stop the transmission of the disease. But they touted it as such, meaning they lied, meaning that's illegal, meaning where are our lawyers? Where's the ACL, ACLU? Probably ran by Jews. Where's all, where, where's the people to stand up for us? All right, you lawyers, you need to get off your asses and start suing these bitches. Okay, because you you don't you can't they got immunity. You can't sue them for somebody die, but you can damn so sue them, sue them for lying. Okay, a vaccination is illegal. The, the term vaccine, as I've said a hundred thousand times, had a, has a legal definition. I can't just tell you this bag of Doritos is a vaccine. That bag of Doritos has to stop the transmission of a disease, and it also has to kill the disease. 
which the vaccinations don't. All right. Now, they lied to you. They told you that this was all, all a vaccination, a vaccine, and everybody lined up and took it like an idiot. All right. My point is this. You don't think there was collusion with that? Well, let me explain to you and show you how there's collusion with that. The CDC would later do what? Change the definition of what a vaccine is. After the fact. Lawyers, again, the bell's not ringing off in your head that you need to be suing the CDC. All right? And Pfizer. For, for intentionally misleading the public that they had a vaccine when it did not meet the legal requirements of what a vaccine is. All right? There's your argument right there. Boom. Why would the CDC go and change it? Because they own by who? The Jews. All right. These these dudes ain't lying. It's just you the public. You don't you don't know you don't know anything because you got your you, you like this. You don't care. Meanwhile, people that's trying to tell you stuff and warn you about things are being crucified. All right. They're being crucified for speaking their mind, speaking the truth. All right. Alex Jones, whether you like him or not, <clears throat> look, when Sandy Hook jumped off, I posted videos of actors, crisis actors at the Sandy Hook school. Instagram deleted my page. YouTube deleted my page on the same day. My original Raw Report page with 80,000 followers, which Kyrie was following back then. YouTube deleted it and, and um, <clears throat> Instagram deleted my page on the same day. Two separate entities, but two separate entities owned by who? Jews. Look, if, I'll be surprised if they let me say this, but God damn it, if y'all let motherfuckers say nigger, nigger, nigger all over this motherfucker, then you better leave my damn video alone. All right? I could say Jew, Jew, Jew all day long. These motherfuckers run shit. Now, what you don't know, though, is... And I try to give you this shit in the soul trap, in the community of knowledge, and try to wake you up. What you don't know is, why do the Jews own this? Why do the Jews own fucking the whole fucking practically the world? Why? Do you know why? There's a reason why. It ain't got shit to do with what you think. None of that. They are put in these positions of power. Now, ask yourself, who got that much power to put them in these positions of power? Because, let me tell you, they not no smarter than nobody else. They not no... They're, they don't have any more drive or ambition than anybody else, okay? It's they have the avenues open to them to be put in these positions of power. Now you need to ask yourself why. This is why you need to get the soul trap session. I keep trying to bang it in your head that once you get it, these blinders you got on because you keep seeing stuff compartmentalized and you can't understand because you can't see the, the big picture. It's like you're looking at a puzzle, but you're only looking at one piece of the puzzle. How the hell are you going to figure out the puzzle if all you can see is one piece? You need these blinders off so you can take this piece and fit it in and connect the dots and be like, oh my God, because that's exactly what's going to happen. That's exactly what's going to happen. See, knowledge is power. And I keep trying to explain this to y'all on, a, on a, a massive level. That knowing, gnosis, all right, G-N-O-S-I-S, -S, the root word of Gnostic, these Gnostic texts that they've been finding, Dead Sea Scrolls, Piste Sophia, the Nine Commodity Library, the Talmud of Emmanuel, these ancient texts that's been recently discovered really break this shit down for you and tell you what the fuck is going on. But you have no knowledge of this shit. You see what I'm saying? In the in the in the soul trap session, I give you this knowledge. This is why everybody that get it say, "Man, you don't open my eyes. I I I can't believe it. I can see so much clearly now." And blah, blah, blah. Listen, listen to what I'm telling y'all. Y'all looking at shit on a on a minuscule level because you you can't see the big picture. So all you see is basketball player being being you know he fucked up why did he say that a, a rapper he fucked up why did he say that but what you gonna say about them jews that i put in the middle of this clip who telling you that every non-jew will serve them and that you serving them right now you will be their slaves where did this come from see because you, you 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 christian and you religious people whether you muslim christian or jew what you don't know is your god is their god because what religion came first the Torah. Yahweh. You see what I'm saying? Now, I don't, I'm not going I'm not gonna go too much into this because it's gonna go over half of y'all head because you can't argue with somebody or you can't make somebody see something if they don't have no knowledge about it. Then you just you just sound crazy. You see what I'm saying? That's why you need to get the soul trap session. Because an educated person like me that know this, that dug this stuff up to show you and, and, and now you puzzled like well, damn, what the fuck are the, what are the Jews talking about? That's what you're saying, because you don't understand nothing. We're going to be slaves. Every non-Jew is going to be slaves. Every Jew is going to get 800 slaves. What, what, do they, what do they mean? What do they, where, 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 where do they get this from? What you, don't un, what you don't know, one, will hurt you. It's hurting you now. All right? Secret uh, societies exist. And they exist for a reason. They're not, they not in there, you know, throwing darts, people. They're in there making moves about your life. You see what I'm saying? When you got collusion going on behind closed doors from a certain group of people, 
that's been going on for thousands of years. You don't understand what you're up against. And they control everything that you see, hear, believe in, meaning your religions, everything. And, and, and because they own the media, they can vilify anybody they want. Oh, I got one more video to put in there. The cancel video from the other from the other white Jew lady. And I'll run that right after this video. So you, and that'll be a good point to leave you on. Collusion behind closed doors. All right. It's been going on for centuries. The only thing is, black people, you ain't colluding on nothing. You being colluded on. Regular white folks, you ain't colluding on nothing. You being colluded on. And that go the same for Asian uh, uh, and, and Latinos. You in the same boat. And see, what y'all don't realize, you, you, you Asian, white, and Latino people who look down on niggas, <laughs> you a nigga too, to them. You think you think you a step up? You ain't no step up. You getting the same shit we get. And you don't even realize it. Maybe this video will wake you motherfuckers up. Get the soul trap session so you can learn to wake up. So you can learn to see what's in front of you instead of looking at everything as an isolated event. That's what they want you to do. They want you to, to keep your blinders on and you will look at something like, wow, but you, you don't know what you're looking at. You can't figure it out. And, and, and you're just like, damn, that's crazy. Stop saying that's crazy and learn to understand, man. This is what we mean when we say wake up. You have to wake up, dog. And this shit is so much deeper than what I'm telling you. It's so much deeper. All right. You have no idea how deep this goes. But if you want to know how deep it goes, read the Gnostic text. I got all of them in my, my Knowledge College app. Go download the Knowledge College app. Available on Android, <clears throat> iPhone. The reason I'm telling you to download that, that's my app. We can speak freely. Here, I got to watch what I say. Mark Zuckerberg, after all, is a Jew. All right? And, and if you don't think that Instagram and Facebook got what we call Jew guidelines of what you can say and what you can't say, oh, I told you, they deleted my page last time. All right? <laughs> the Jews, look, the Jews will get together behind closed doors and do all sorts of things. Check this video out. Okay, I debated if I should make this video or not, and I am going to catch some flack for it, um, but I decided that I had to come out. So I do not listen to Kanye West. I have never heard a Kanye song. I used to pronounce his name Cain because I'm a little dyslexic and that's how I read it, but I was part of the Jewish assembly to decide if we should cancel him or not. Um, by now, you all know what we decided to do, but um, I thought it could be helpful to tell you a little bit about the process because I don't think a lot of people realize that this is actually um, a lottery process or um, almost like a draft. Um, there's a lot of, of Jews in the world and we're very, very democratic people. So um, we do it by lottery. If your number gets called, you sit on that deliberation. So there was a deliberation for um, Shia LaBeouf or Chrissy Teigen. Those were big um, in um, being discussed in Jewish circles when those um, deliberations were happening. My dad actually sat on the deliberation for Marilyn Manson um, at that time. That was the closest that I had ever been to that power pinnacle um, that is the cornerstone of uh, Judaism. Now, there's some things that I'm not allowed to talk about. I'm not allowed to disclose the criteria that we use to, de to determine if someone should be canceled or not. I'm, um, we're not allowed to talk about uh, deliberations that um, that took place when someone was decided um, that they didn't need to be canceled. So the general public would not know that um, those deliberations even um, took place. I can tell you that if um, if someone is proposed to be uncanceled, the same group of Jews will come back and sit on that um, second deliberation. Um, if a voting member is not able to be there for the second one, they always um, put the name of their closest living uh, relative relative as long as they haven't left the Jewish faith. Um, I know that it is probably strange for the general public. Um, it's probably very strange for people, non-Jews, um, people in public life to think that, you know, a, a group of people are meeting in secret to decide their fate. But I just want to give you a little comfort that um, we take these deliberations very seriously. It's actually part of early Jewish education. Um, my son is just four. And last week at Hebrew school, he had his first mock cancel deliberation and the whole class um, deliberated and they voted to not cancel his classmate. Um, so please take a little comfort in knowing that by the time a Jew is actually sitting in one of these assemblies, deciding whether to cancel someone or not, they have often 20 years um, of, of training behind them to make the right decision. Tell us to go to the right. No! Follow him, they've been following him for weeks. Now tell us you're going to do what I tell you. 